I just wanted to talk to you about something that I've noticed has become more exposed. I was listening to some Shinedown music, actually. One of the songs is called Bully. There's many, many songs about bullying. Like, there's also another one called Bully by Three Years Grace. All this music lately is just trying to inspire people to better themselves. But it helps, I guess. I mean, if it makes people feel powerful to hear that kind of thing being recognized by big bands, I, I don't know. It's, I mean, I'd rather hear songs that help me connect to my problems, whether, like, I don't know, Bully didn't touch me. It didn't make me feel any better of a person. Like, I should stand up to somebody and conquer. That's not the way to go. If you're dealing with bullying, that's your own personal decision to make if you want to deal with it or not. I, I've been bullied, I'm not going to lie. In seventh grade, which is about three or four years ago now, I guess it'd technically be four years ago, um, but anyways, that's not the point. The point is, I wasn't the most attractive kid growing up. I shouldn't fifth grade, towards the end of it, I stopped caring what people thought, or at least I thought I did. I thought, food, I love food, fuck people, I am going to eat as much food as I want, and which in turn, I got kind of chubby, and it wasn't the beautiful kind of chubby where you still had a pretty face, because my mom still cut my hair, and I still looked atrocious, and she'd convinced me to get these really, really short hair boy styles just because, but then I stopped going outside. I tried doing other stuff. I became more of a creative person, more of a hands-on kind of person doing crafts and going towards the art flow type thing. So sixth grade rolls around and I'm new in school. I'm not attractive either. My mom still dressed me too. I wore shorts that were boy shorts, they went down to my knees, and t-shirts that had designs on it, like I had a Betty Boop shirt. I liked that shirt. I really did. But I wore collar shirts like this. This is just a work shirt, so I mean, I don't feel like changing out of it. Because I have to go on another shift later, but it's still against the point. I wore college short shirt, shirts. Ugh, and boy shorts. I looked like I was dressed like a little nerd, honestly, and I had those little sneakers that slipped on. They had laces, but they just slipped on and they light up and they were pink and then I wore sandals with socks and I always had my hair pulled back and a headband, hair up, because I wanted to grow my hair out. I was like, I don't like this short hairstyle anymore, I'm gonna let it grow out. And I did. And I tried to become someone more than who I was because I had no friends in sixth grade. I didn't. And it hurt. It really did. I was just, and I wanted to be so perfect. I looked up to the girls who were bitchy to me. They were straight up just so mean. I tried to be friends with people that didn't deserve to hang out with me. I, I know that sounds a bit superficial, but I didn't deserve to be treated the way I did. Like, they told me I looked like a cow every time I ate. And I'd eat salads, too. I'd eat salads because I, I knew I wasn't exactly the perfect weight. So I ate salads and I worked out, but it didn't change anything. I, I slowly, slowly lost some of the weight. Very slowly. And I don't know, it just really hurt to be called a cow. And I have freckles, too, and my freckles were more visible when I was younger, because they were darker, but they're getting lighter and fading away as I get older. And they were, like, they said because of my freckles, it made, it made me look like a dog. A dog, a cow, and that it was gross and disgusting. Nobody wanted to be my friend. I was fat. I wasn't cute. I was annoying. I was all these things to them that I know I'm not. And it just really hurt, you know? I can't explain that kind of pain as a kid. I mean, I would draw tombstones because I was really getting into art. I thought that was the way to express myself. So I drew tombstones. I wrote wills every other day of stuff I wanted to give to who. One day, my parents 
by my drawings and wills, and they're like, do you want to kill yourself? And at that point, I really wasn't like, I want to kill myself. I just, sad, you know? Sad and lonely, and life just freaking sucked. <laughs> then I got to seventh grade. I was shaping up a little bit. I met a boy, and we started going out, and as soon as we started going out, I decided to change my image, make it something more socially acceptable, but that didn't even seem to work. I mean, I did lose more weight. I became vegetarian December 1st, 2008, which in turn, I lost a lot of weight from that, but I was still a band nerd. I still did band, and I enjoyed it. I mean, I really did. I liked playing concerts, and it was fun, but... I was still a nerdy little girl, and a poser now. I looked like a poser because I was just trying to be something else, something people would accept. And then there's this boy who came by. I didn't have real converse. Keep in mind, I'm not rich or anything. I, I, I do what I can. I make, I get by with stuff, and it's not like I'm trying really hard to just be like, oh, I'm so cool, and blah, 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 but, you know, honestly, it, it hurt. He'd say I was fake, a poser, and then when I tried to get back at him, he told me he'd get his older sister, and his older sister was really scary. She put someone in the hospital because she beat them up, and she was black, and not that that has anything to do with anything, but, you know, it kind of made me in the intimidation more there. Like, I was scared. I went home crying a lot because he'd tell me that he was going to get his older sister to beat me up all because I wanted to stand up for myself. I wanted to be powerful, but nothing could ever make me feel worse than he did. People would comfort me, but that didn't help either. Nothing helped. I was in 8th grade. I had gotten away. I moved. And 8th grade wasn't so bad. I had lost more weight by that point. And 8th grade went by. It was fine. I mean, I took gym class, lost more weight there, and I thought I was doing well for myself cut off my hair and cute little pixie hairstyles that people enjoyed. I dressed appropriately, I guess, socially acceptable for what would be considered goth or whatever, because I thought, oh, I'm just going to look like one of those kids. And then a lot of gay rumors started going around, talking about how I was lesbian and I made out with chicks every other weekend. I mean, that's cool. Chicks are fine. I don't care. Okay? I do like girls. I'm not like full blown flaming gay, but I do, I am curious, I'm not gonna lie, that's just part of me and who I am. And so, that went by, and ninth grade started, and I was finally figuring myself out, thought things were going great, and then I got into cutting. I started starving myself, and cutting. And the school got caught up in it, and they, and they were like, okay, you have to eat. So I was forced to eat lunch at school, at the very least. And then I'd come home, and I'd throw it all up. I wanted to be skinny. I wanted to be socially acceptable. So bad. I just can't even imagine how I felt then, knowing how I feel now. I don't cut anymore. I stopped, although sometimes I have my moments of weakness where it'd just be so much easier to get by with. I saw a thin line of blood running across my wrist. Some days I think like that. The summer after my freshman year, indeed, I moved in with my father. Things were getting easier, sort of. So I was like, okay, I stopped cutting. And then I started working out, and I still have problems with eating. I'm not very comfortable with putting food in my mouth, because there's still this part of me that's afraid to get so overweight that 
no one will accept me. Not that I should really care, and most of the time I say I don't care. I Sometimes I'm just like, I don't care what people think of me. They can go fuck themselves, or something along that line. But I do care. I'm not going to admit it. I mean, I'm admitting it now, but I do care. I want to be wanted. Who doesn't? I mean, it's everyone. They want to be so accepted and so wanted. It's just incredible. And so, here I am. Um, sometimes I want to cut. Sometimes I don't want to eat. But sometimes I just go for a run. I think it out, take deep breaths, and I get over it. And there's people in my life who make me feel better. And really... If it wasn't for these people that I have in my life, I probably wouldn't be here anymore. I did try to commit suicide a couple times because I thought there was no way out. I jumped off the tall things. I tried to poison myself. Matter of fact, my freshman year, I was introduced to drugs. I'm not a stranger to it. They got me on all sorts of... I got myself into all sorts of synthetic weed and smoking cigarettes and popping pills. It was terrible. I so much pressure out there. I just can't even begin to imagine what it's like for other kids. So um, I'm not making this a sob story or anything. I'm just saying that it's not easy to conquer these things. And a song may help here and there, and bullying is no one's choice. It happens to everyone. Even the happiest people out there, believe it or not. And, uh, I guess what I have to say is if you're going to write a song about being a bully, don't write it about conquering bullies and being the, the one who beats them up or something like that. Just talk about how to make yourself feel better. Not being getting revenge. Because revenge isn't going to help anything. It's only going to make it worse. What a lot of people don't realize is that it hurts. The, um, one of the ways I almost died was I almost overdosed on pills. I was that close to having to get my tummy popped. Because I was foaming at the mouth. I had no body heat. I fell asleep in every class that day. And I just wasn't okay. It's not okay to treat someone like dirt. It's not okay. You don't know how it affects them. You don't know what people go through. What didn't help is I did have brothers and they did pick on me. They called me fat. They called me pig. They said, oink, oink, piggy. And I'm, I'm getting over it. I'm pretty much over it because I know that I'm not the person I used to be. I'm not, like, overweight or anything, but I do know life changes, life goes on, and things will always get better. So if you're going to bully, just think about how it hurts. Think about how it's going to affect someone for the rest of their life. It hurts. Things will get better, though. There's people who don't believe that, but it's true. You're not always going to be perfect to everyone, but you're going to be perfect to someone someday, and they'll make your life feel like it's worth living. I'm so lucky that I have people like that in my life who just make me feel alive and happy. I know I'm a better person now because of it, and to be honest, I'm glad of who I am. I'm perfectly happy being who I am. If I want a piercing, then I'll do a piercing because that makes me who I am. I'm going to be who I want to be. Nothing's going to stand in the way of that. I don't care. If I want to look a certain way, I will look a certain way. That's just who I am. I am what I want to be. 
and growing up being bullied taught me because I'm me and no one else can take that away. So thank you for watching this super long video and I didn't mean to make it a sob story but these are things I care about. Things that have made me who I am today and don't be a bully.